Hey, welcome back. Getting your identity infrastructure configured correctly is vital to managing Office 365 user access and permissions for your organization. My name is Sushant Sudish and, and I'm your trainer for this Microsoft 365 Certified Security Administrator Associate course. In this episode, we're going to learn about identity and authentication solution. Let's look at the high level things we are going to learn in this episode. After this video, you will be able to explain the Microsoft 365 authentication options. You would be able to explain the directory synchronization and you would be able to explain Azure AD Connect as well. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Let's look at what are the Microsoft 365 identity models. To plan for user accounts, you first need to understand the two identity models in Microsoft 365. You can maintain your organization's identity only in the cloud, or you can maintain your on-premises Active Directory domain services identities and use them for authentication when users access Microsoft 365 Cloud and use them for authentication when users access Microsoft 365 Cloud services. There are two models we need to understand. The first one is cloud only identity and the second one is hybrid identity. So let us understand both of this in detail. So what is cloud only identity? A cloud only identity uses user accounts that exist only in Azure AD. Cloud identity is typically used by small organizations that do not have on-premises servers or do not use ADDS to manage local identities. Because user accounts are only stored in Azure AD, you manage cloud identities with tools such as the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and Windows PowerShell. What is hybrid identity? Hybrid identity uses accounts that originate in an on-premises ADDS and have a copy in the Azure AD tenant for a Microsoft 365 subscription. However, most changes only flow one way. Changes that you make to ADDS user accounts are synchronized to their copy in Azure AD. But changes made to the cloud-based account in Azure AD, such as new user accounts, are not synchronized with ADDS. When you implement hybrid identity, your on-premises ADDS is the authoritative source for account information. This means that you perform administration tasks mostly on-premises which are then synchronized to Azure AD. Because the original and authoritative user accounts are stored in the on-premises ADDS, you manage your identities with the same tools as ADDS, such as Active Directory Users and Computers tool. So let's have a look at how the authentication for hybrid identity works. Depending on your business needs and technical requirements, the hybrid identity model and directory synchronization is the most common choice for enterprise customers who are adopting Microsoft 365. Directory synchronization allows you to manage identities in your ADDS and all updates to user accounts, groups and contacts are synced to your Azure AD to your Microsoft 365 subscription. There are two types of authentication when using hybrid identity model. The first one is managed authentication. Azure AD handles the authentication process by using locally stored hash version of the password or sends the credentials to on-premises software agent to be authenticated by the on-premises ADDS. The second type is federated authentication. In this type, Azure AD redirects the client computer requesting authentication to other identity provider. Let's understand the password hash synchronization or PHS. With password hash synchronization, you synchronize your ADDS user accounts with Microsoft 365 and manage your users on premises. Hashes of user passwords are synchronized for your ADDS to Azure AD so the users have the same password on premises and in the cloud. This is the simplest way to enable authentication for ADDS identities in Azure AD. When passwords are changed or reset on premises, the new password hash are synchronized to Azure Active Directory. 
so that your users can always use the same password for cloud resources and on-premises resources. And the user passwords are never sent to Azure AD or stored in Azure AD in clear text. Some premium features of Azure AD such as identity protection require password hash synchronization regardless of which authentication method is selected. Now let's understand pass-through authentication or PTA. Pass-through authentication provides a simple password validation for Azure AD authentication services using a software agent running on one or more on-premises servers to, to validate the users directly with your ADDS. With pass-through authentication, you synchronize ADDS user accounts with Microsoft 365 and manage your user on-premises. Pass-through authentication allows your users to sign in to both on-premises and Microsoft 365 resources and application using their on-premises account and password. This configuration validates user passwords directly against your on-premises ADDS without storing password hashes in Azure AD. And PTA is also for organizations with security requirement to immediately enforce on-premises user account states, password policies, and logon hours. Now let's understand how the directory synchronization work. Directory synchronization is the synchronization of directory identities or objects between two different directories, such as your on-premises Active Directory environment and Azure AD, which supports online services like Microsoft 365. However, directory synchronization is not limited to any one specific directory. And in fact, it might include other directories such as HR databases and LDAP directory. In Microsoft 365, directory synchronization is commonly used to synchronize in one direction from on-premises to Azure AD. However, some features in Azure AD Connect allows you to write back specific objects and attributes to your on-premises directory. Integrating your on-premises directory with your Azure AD allows your users to improve productivity by reducing the amount of time spent by typing in passwords for accessing both cloud and on-premises resources. So what are the advantages of directory synchronization? The first one is it gives you hybrid identity. With the hybrid identity, your organizations can provide users with common hybrid identity across on-premises or cloud-based services, including consistent group membership by leveraging Active Directory and then connecting to Azure AD. The second advantage is AD policies. Administrators can use policies set through Azure Active Directory to provide conditional access based on application resource, device and user identity, network location, and multi-factor authentication without having to perform additional tasks in the cloud. Another advantage is you can leverage identity. Users can leverage their common identity through accounts in Azure AD to Office 365, to Intune, or other SaaS applications or any other non-Microsoft applications as well. Fourth advantage is one of the big one, which is single sign-on or SSO. Your security team will have confidence in knowing that user identities and informations are protected because all the servers and services used in SSO are mastered and controlled on-premises. Another advantage is using MFA or multi-factor authentication. Your security team will have greater confidence when they have the option to use strong authentication. User will have a greater confidence when they have an option to use a strong authentication. And the last advantage is common identity model. Developers can build application that leverages common identity model. So what is Azure AD Connect? The Azure Active Directory Connect or Azure AD Connect tool formerly known as Windows Azure Active Directory Synchronization or Directory Synchronization. This is officially recommended directory synchronization tool for Microsoft 365. Azure AD Connect is designed to operate as a software-based tool that you configure once and it automatically runs in the background without any user interaction. For Microsoft 365, the purpose of the tool is to enable coexistence between your on-premises Active Directory environment and Microsoft 365 in the cloud. 
Azure AD Connect is made up of three parts. The synchronization service, the optional Active Directory Federation service piece, and the monitoring piece, which is done using Azure AD Connect help. When using Azure AD Connect, new users, groups, contact objects, in your on-premises Active Directory are added to your Microsoft 365 and attributes for existing user groups and contact that are modified in your on-premises Active Directory are modified in your Microsoft 365 as well. When you delete a user group contact object from your on-premises Active Directory, these are subsequently deleted from your Microsoft 365 as well. Additionally, Azure AD Connect supports multiple Active Directory forest environments multiple exchange organizations to one Microsoft 365 tenant as well. So what are the additional Azure AD Connect features? You can use Azure AD Connect for exchange hybrid deployment, exchange mail public folders, Azure AD app and object filtering, password synchronization, password pass-through authentication, password write-back, group write-back, device write-back, directory extension attribute sync. Uh, then then you can use it for preventing accidental deletes, automatic updates, SSO for your ADFS, and seamless single sign-on using password hash through synchronization as well. Azure AD Cloud Provisioning is a new Microsoft agent designed to meet and accomplish your hybrid identity goals for synchronization of users, groups, and contacts in Azure AD. And this can be used alongside your Azure AD Connect Sync as well. With Azure AD Connect Cloud Provisioning, provisioning from AD to Azure AD is orchestrated in Microsoft Online Services. An organization only needs to deploy in their on-premises and IaaS hosted environment a lightweight agent that acts as a bridge between Azure AD and AD. This provisioning configuration is stored in Azure AD and managed as part of the service. All right, so now we understand identity and authentication solution within Microsoft 365. In the next video, we're going to learn about user accounts and roles. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.